Welcome back, everybody. Great Pirate Solomon here with you for another episode of The Adventures of Solomon in Uncharted Waters. We are here in West Candia, and we are about to... Or actually, we actually already started on uh, charting the land region. So, so far what we've done is the collection part. Um, so, I now have to apparently use recognition to, uh, in a few different areas to, I guess, make some kind of triangle or some crap. Um, now we have to defeat some NPCs as well. Um, so we're going to see how this works. So I guess I'm just going to start by uh, using recognition over here. I don't know if this is going to work for Sydney as well. Eh, I guess it does. Yeah, and it shows up on the map, so that's nice. And let's use one over here somewhere. No, we we'll use one up here, and that should probably do us for that part. I guess. I don't know. I guess we can go kill this guy while we're moving in the direction. Hey, buddy. Let's fight. He's using double guns. I like it. I got her a pistol. I decided I'd, you know, it's kind of like her submachine gun in some way from, from Fallout. So, and pistols are new to the game since I was last playing, so. I figured, what the hell, let's try it out. Don't mind any noises you hear in the background. There is a crazy feline in my room. They seem pretty sweet. Hey, start attacking them. Come on, what are you doing? Kill them all. Doesn't need to stop running away from me. That's what I need to start doing. Or stop doing. Whatever. Well, this guy's got a sword, so he can't run away from me. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll 
let's finish this part. supposed to do this part first. to investigate the cross So we did that, now it's going to ask us to collect more, but let's go get the cross grave first, and that'll probably unlock another uh, necessary thing or whatever. Required action is how they term it. And while we're at the cross grave, I guess we can do the next uh, collection that we need. Goddamn walk. Now, supposedly, one of the nice things about this is um, once you've completed the research for an area, you can actually click on the different uh, things and auto run to them, which is nice. There's the cross grave. on it. Apparently I'm already 
finished. This part. Find a discovery. <clears throat> That's kind of asking a lot, isn't it? Alright, now apparently we're both finished. Alright. Keep doing that. Oh uh, wait, we still have something else required. I need a bigger area. Great. I don't know what AC is. Uh, I don't know how big the first one was. Well, we'll start one here. Fight more enemies or collect more to finish it up. This isn't as bad as people made it out to be. It made it sound horrible. But it's really not terrible at all. A bit time consuming, but you can kind of do this while you're doing quests when you get to new places, so it's not too bad. Sydney's not, um, Sydney's not getting this. Sydney did complete fortune. For the, uh, the last one, which was necessary for her. So we're gonna go back to a monument. I'm going to have to start this triangle over. I don't... Does Sydney have recognition? Yeah, she does. Uh, I don't know. We'll see here. Collect some actual shit that's useful. <coughs> it doesn't increase for collecting trash like grass. Ugh. I just 
picked a really bad monument to do this on. Let's go back up to the other one. At least getting successes there. Alright, I will, um... I'm gonna turn off the recording for a minute. We'll pick it back up when, uh... We've gotten this done and complete our triangle. Okay, so hopefully now we'll complete our triangle. Seems to have worked. Did it work for Sydney? Yes. Alright, so now there are no more required actions. both at 90%. So now we could investigate the large boulder. Um, we could defeat more NPCs. I don't think we can do any more collections, so let's go kill some more NPCs. I'll start walking towards the large boulder, kill any NPCs that I find along the way, and if we get to the large boulder first, then we get to the large boulder first. I don't know if it's going to give me 10 points or only 5. Same for the land battle, so. Never hurts to have a backup plan. Yeah, the NPCs seem to have got kind of sparse. Fatty. Hey, fatty. Man, I'm dead before I can even get my trap off. These pistols are deadly. Need to get one myself. completed the map. Alright, so we didn't get too much for it. A little bit of fame, a little bit of experience. But now I can see uh, the landmarks. Uh, I can see what you can collect here. Famous cultural region, none. Um, okay. Oh, this is the different stuff you can collect here. Those with search, I would take it. Interesting, interesting. Uh, bandits. Cool. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, now, let's try. Oh, yeah, buddy. Now I can auto run to things. So that's pretty great. All right. So we're going to go do this uh, same thing over again in uh, Inland Crete. And I don't think I'm going to record that because, you know, you just saw how it works. It gets kind of tedious. But uh, I'm going to do that and then we'll head back to London to uh, get our reward. So, BRB. 
Alright guys, <clears throat> so we're back at Oxford and we are going to uh, report on our land investigation. Oh, so it's you. Are the investigations going well? Oh, you have results. Please let me take a look. Oh, I see. My word. Your reaction reminds me of my younger self, Professor. When I used to cream my my pantaloons at charts. M Mr. Makata, this is... Don't be so shocked. All the other investigation reports I've seen of theirs have been like this. <clears throat> so, Professor, what do you think of their execution? Hmm. I've never come across such a report as this. It has an original viewpoint and plenty of data to support it. I can't ask for anything more. The section concerning the ruins is especially superb. The consideration of concurrent history is fascinating, as well as the consideration of the land itself. I'm sure you will have no problem conducting an official investigation. Yes, yes, indeed. After all, I found this Voyager myself. <laughs> you must be pleased, Mr. Makata. Now then, Solomon, I appoint you as an official field researcher of this college. However, being official does not mean that there are any constraints on your activities. You have carte blanche to do what you please. Just look at us and our creepy pedophile mustaches. Simply record truthfully whatever you see on your travels, and submit the data to me. We shall take on the role of compiling that data for posterity. And now, here is your reward for completing this request. Collected Tales of King Minos According to Greek mythology, the island you investigated, Crete, flourished under King Minos. The stories surrounding King Minos and the Kingdom of Crete have been compiled in this book, Collected Tales of King Minos. A traveler who stayed here for a while allowed me to copy his original as thanks, so that it may be studied. The notes jotted down in the margins were also fascinating, so I copied them down too. Although, unlike the main text, the notes are in Spanish, so they're a bit difficult to decipher. What are you saying? Anyhow, this is a valuable text. It should be useful to you, so please take it. Ahem, <laughs> Professor. That's enough talking for now. Solomon must be exhausted after the investigation. Please go and rest, Solomon. From now, you should be receiving a request not only from me, but the college, too. That's all that's expected of you. We're counting on you. Now then, the Professor and I have a date, uh, I mean conference, to discuss plans for future investigations, so please excuse us. Professor, please send a copy of that land region map to me later. I'm afraid we will have to wait. We need com to complete sufficient research and verification first. Because you are so cautious, your research never progresses past that. It was the same with your daughter. That is an unrelated matter. You never change. Well, Solomon, I must take my leave. All right. Well, after that bit of uh, nonsense, uh, we can now uh, let's, let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, archaeology plus two, theology plus two, search plus one. That is a really good. Uh, that is a really good item. All right. So we are going to uh, now head back to the Mediterranean to uh, Marseille, I believe. And uh, we will go pick up the quest for Troy. So we will uh, see you guys then. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in Marseille. I've got my goofy uh, ancient clothes on. I've got uh, you know, all, the, all the boosts I need to get the quest for Troy. And boom, there it is. <clears throat> I heard you know a lot about the Iliad. Well, this job is about finding something that relates to the heroes of the Trojan War, so it should be perfect for you. It's a pretty casual job, but if you're interested, go talk to a scholar in Athens. Oh, yeah, super casual. Look at those uh, requirements and difficulty. It's only an eight-star quest with uh, ten archaeology, four theology, and eight recognition. No biggie. Isn't that interesting stuff here? Well, I guess we're off to Athens. Uh, I'm going to go put the ship back in the bank until I need it. So we will be back.
Alright guys, so here we are in Athens. We're gonna talk to the barkeep here. Seems like something the scholar would know about. Well, alright. Let's go see Mr. Scholar. Full of despair. It is bound to be a valuable resource for researching ancient Greece. However, it is difficult to imagine that heroes like Achilles or Hector really existed. Would you like me to help you if you find something in my religious studies library? Many heroes participated in the series of battles with the allied forces of Troy and Greece. For Greece, the general commander was the King Mycenae of Agamemnon. I think he named King Agamemnon of Mycenae. Who commanded Achilles, Odysseus, and others. The general commander for Troy was Prince Hector. For reinforcements, the Queen of Amazons and King of Ethiopia joined the battle. Listening to this again, there are a few strange parts. There are very many actual place names used in Greek mythology. We hear stories that include places such as Mycenae and Ethiopia. Could it be that only Troy was made up? It might be a good idea to ask the scholar in Istanbul. Alright, let's have uh, Sydney get her information. apparently. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll do that, and then I'll do that off camera, and then we'll meet up in Istanbul. BRB! Alright guys, so we are here at the Istanbul Scholar, and we're gonna go on. Troy. According to the Iliad and the Odyssey, geographically speaking, it would match the coastline of the Anatolian Peninsula. And there's no place remaining today with that name. But the Anatolian Peninsula is rich in mineral resources. A large city or nation may have existed there. Investigate my, some books from my library. Okay. Shit, I need my boosters on. Let's go to the bank. I must say. Feeling rather fabulous. Alright. Let's head back to the archives. My red gloves. I'm super suave. I'm take off my cowboy hat to get in here and have enough disguise without it. Or with it. Without it. All right. Let's have Sydney talk to us. So we're on the same page. Boom. All right. Now, as is understood from how the Hittites flourished, the Anatolian Peninsula is known to be rich in mineral resources. Land rich in resources would be a likely source of conflict regarding the rights to those resources. Especially so for land containing mineral resources, which can be used to make weapons. 
It was likely a scene of many battles during a time of many wars. Again. Little is known about the things about things before the ancient Greek times, but guesses have been made. Because ancient Greece, Greece itself was a collection of city-states, it is thought that originally many states fought against each other and were engaged in constant battle. Because sailing technology had developed, these battles probably covered great distances. And that's it. But of course, there is no clear historical record. However, it is unlikely that the Anatolian Peninsula was completely peaceful. If you investigate around the Anatolian Peninsula, you might be able to discover some evidence of Troy. If you're able to find the remains of the city of Troy, that would be a great discovery. Yeah, well, that's what I do. Make great discoveries. Getting Sydney, all the info. And there we go. Now, I guess um, I'm going to be going directly there, so I need to keep this stuff on me. Equipment. Uh, telescope on. And uh, we'll head there. I'm also going to chart the areas while we're there. I won't have you watch the charting of uh, of the Turkey West landing spot, but when we get to the second level, I'll probably let you uh, see me do that. So we will uh, we'll meet you in the second level. BRB. So we are at the uh, entrance to the second level. We were not actually able to chart um, that shit, uh, the first level, because the required um, first thing to do there is make a discovery. So we're going to get a quest that gets discovered there and come back um, at some other point. I didn't know that those could be required ones until now, but now that I know, I will keep that in mind. Alright, so I'm going to have Sydney open it up so I can see it on the other screen what I need to do. Alright, well, let's just start here with a uh, recognition. Do, do, do. And according to the example, <coughs> if I go over by the ruins, should be a good place to uh, do the next one. I guess we're gonna get a nice good look at the ruins before we even make the discovery. Also, there's a big rock. And some blue harm gang. You know, those guys. Them guys right there. Is. Some of the ruins. Slightly more impressive than the ones in Greece, but still not super impressive. Some more ruins over here. These ones are pretty dull. But this is about where we need to go to set the second recognition point. Yonder. Slip 
side and make it a little bit bigger than the example. Down, down. <laughs> or, you know, salt. Salt is down, right? That's how that works. I'm going to have to get into a fight in my goofy clothes. Should be the uh, good spot. Oh, Blue Harn Gang. You're the bluest. What now? Next, we need to do collection. Alright. So, let's actually... Just take a ribbon back to the entrance. Closer to one of the um, <coughs> one of the landmarks, which are usually the best place to do collection, procurement, and whatnot. Over that uh, random weird boulder thing that we saw over here. Do the collection. That'll get us the next thing. Start procuring, Sydney will start collecting. And I need to clear out some inventory in my ship. Same for Sydney. Alright, I'm fishing too much. Let's see, get rid of the rye, um, get rid of the berries, get rid of the mushrooms, rocks, grouper, rockfish. Rocks and sand. Hooray.
helpful so far. I guess. Why not? Seems to be the next closest one, and then there's another one relatively close to it, so... again. Ooh, not a promising start though. I'm getting rocks, 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 rocks. Yeah, this is not looking very good either. Nope, wait, sending out logs. something weird like a cross or a table boulder. Are this not particularly promising either? Rocks, rocks, rocks. Sydney got nothing. Rocks, sand. Rocks, sand. Oh boy. Well. Okay, let's give up on this one already. There's only one fucking monument left, so. That's gonna be the good one. A lot of places you can get good shit from multiple landmarks, but <clears throat> this place seems to suck balls. Unless everything's like really high level procurement or collection here. should have some stuff that boosts collection, but I don't know if she has it on her.
inside. Sand. Nope. Sydney got some logs, okay. More sand. Sydney got nothing and nothing. Hmm. I am not liking this one bit. Not one bit at all. Solark Hill. Oh, yeah. So seemingly salt peter and roses are available. <coughs> but you have to be real high level for that. Level 8 for salt peter and level 11 for roses. Got her, her boosters. I could probably get her to eight at least. She finished the map. I'm just gonna have to keep doing it for logs. Let me see about procurement. My procurement's even lower, so I never really use it. All you can procure here is rocks, so, yeah. I might as well just stop wasting my vigor. I have Sydney uh, complete it for me. And let's hope that they don't ask me to complete collection again. So charting is turning out to be a little harder than I thought it would be at first. That introductory one was pretty easy, but it's getting super annoying now. And now I'm beginning to see why people hate it so much. Because a lot of people do hate it. Oh, goody. All right. Sydney so can turn that off. Uh, now, charts. Research. All right. Now it's another recognition thingy. All right, let's start here.
she's getting now a rock. Rocks, rocks. Mm -hmm. There's some sand just to change things up a bit. See if that helps. There we go. Apparently it did help. Rocks. Rocks. And there we go, some logs. I haven't completed yet there. Again, the map's still not done. <coughs> you only get half as much experience for the shit that the other person picks up. So it's, it's a completion rate, whatever. So it's great when you're both getting shit, uh, but when you're not, it sucks balls. with the goddamn rocks. There we go, logs. Still not enough. God fucking damn it. Logs. Hey, we got it. Here-ish, and then down here-ish, and that should get us. It's still can tell me to find a discovery, I mean it's an option on there. Once I get to having this to 100%, then I'll do it, uh, and that will clear out you know, some of my necessity, but I want to wait and see if it becomes a required action at some point. time I'll show you guys charting since uh, obviously past the first ones it does seem to take a little while. And I guess that most places won't be quite as annoying as this just because not many places have such, well some do, but not many places have such shit lists for uh, procurement and collection so quite as long, you know, these surveying things where you have to walk all over the place, you know, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Alright, 
So right about here should be good. Now we are going to do this again. spot on the southern portion of the map and uh, finish that off. Hey, these two butt buddies over here. Oh, that's old Blue Harn himself. Investigate the large tree, which is in the all the way up in the top. And then after that, <coughs> we can uh, make the discovery and uh, you know, continue along our merry way. Run, Simon, run! You almost think he was just running away from Sydney all the time, but it's not true. It's only Velia that he runs away from. And only when she's trying to kill him. It's too bad he can't get a Swedish aid in this game. That would be perfect for Velia. Delia alt at some point. Almost there. I can see it now. All the required ones. <coughs> I'm gonna find the discovery, and then after that, I'm gonna kill NPCs because uh, there ain't nothing else worth doing. I decided to give myself a throwing knife. It's more of an adventurer's weapon. Sydney's got the guns. I might actually switch to the guns myself at some point, but for right now, this is fine.
Sydney learn to tech or something? She learned quick draw. Okay. Sydney's the one with the big iron on her hip. Well, howdy there, fellers. Sydney. Shoot him up. Alright, one more fella right here. Go kill this guy. this would be enough. <clears throat> Don't probably need one more. We'll see. All right, there we go. It's like right in the middle of these ruins. All right, yeah. Scope. And now, recognition. Yeah, no shit, there's something around here. Archaeological area of Troy. Oh, yeah, buddy. Looks like that did finish the chart for us. Eat. All right, well, we are done. So uh, we're going to head back to Athens, I think, or something. We'll head somewhere, turn this in, and uh, we'll go from there. Next is the job that will let us uh, change into the archaeologist class. So, uh, BRB. Alright guys, so we're at the Athens Tavern. We're gonna try to turn in this quest. 
Ooh, yeah. Guess this quest is just too damn good. We need to go buy some gifts for Moulin. What the fuck kind of name that is? <clears throat> What you got for me, shopkeep? Let's go across. Yeah, we'll do one of each. Why not? Girls like shoes, right? Common wisdom tells me. Shoes. What you think about that? Okay, and Sid's gonna get a uh, court rank for adventuring. That should actually maybe make her even with me now. Oh wait, hold on. I really need to clear out my uh, fatigue. Doesn't think anything of me at all. What are you talking about? She just turned in an eight-star quest for me. Should be fine. My thing is, um, this, qu this quest requires search, not recognition. Yep, but my search was fine, anyways. So we're good. Should be, anyways. What up, Brohim? So far, no good. Atlantis? Hmm, that's weird. It's a two-star quest that requires nine archaeology.
Hmm. Sorry, I was just uh <coughs> just looking at the website to see if I was missing something. But you can end up using a lot of QMPs to find a specific quest. I just want to make sure that I'm in the right uh, yeah, 11 archaeology at the moment and plenty of search, so should be fine. There we go. Treasure of the Kings of Troy. I will take it. A request from a wealthy patron. patron. It is said that the treasures of Troy, the kingdom destroyed by the Trojan War, still lie somewhere hidden and he would like to see what they are like. The Trojan War itself was thought to be mythology, but you discovered the ruins of Troy, so maybe the war was real too. Ask around Salonica. Will do, my man, will do. Make sure Sid picks it up. Alright. Alright, well, we'll meet you in Salonica. Alright, gang. <coughs> So here we are in Salonika, and uh, I've already talked to the bartender, and he told me this traveling scholar fella here is the guy to talk to, so we're going to talk to him. There's a legend that says this town has treasures that belong to the Trojan royal family. The city of Troy was set ablaze by the enemy during the Trojan War. I think there was a very high chance that someone tried to take something of the treasure out of the burning castle. What do you think? Ask the people in town for the exact location. Okay. Just randos in town. Can we get a little more specific? You know, just whoever. Ask some dude. This Islamic voyager might know something. Or the old local doctor. Perhaps the maiden. I hope she has an unsullied maiden head. Looks like it is the maiden. Guess we're about to find out about the uh, state of her maidenhead. What's up, maiden? Yes, I've heard of this before. The old man in the town used to tell us when we were little. The treasure should be buried near a boulder north of Troy. I don't think it's really there, though. I thought we were going to be going to the outskirts here, but apparently we're going back to Troy. Okay. Um, let me just double check. Do, 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 near the ruins of Troy. Okay. Um, let's see. Le, le, le. So I need one more archaeology. My search is good. Honestly, I don't even need any of the good stuff be able to use just like an amulet of the sun or something. Wait, no. I need a tiny amount so I do get some good stuff. Never mind. But not all of the good stuff necessarily. What do I do with my amulet of the sun? I can put it in quarter storage. Yep. So take that out and then the clothes I guess. Exactly what we need. All right, I will meet you guys in Troy. All right, guys. So we are in the Troy region. <laughs> um. So since this place started been charted, I can now auto-click on the landmarks and just auto run over there. Pretty nifty. Seemingly it should be this boulder up here. 
theoretically could be this one. It's sort of north. Let me check this first. Let's just do that. Let me see here. Nah, hey, look at that. See, it's a good thing I didn't run all the way up to the other one. Completed. Excellent. Alright, let's get the fudge out of here. And uh, yeah, I will uh, meet you guys back in Athens. Alright, so we're back in Athens. Let's turn this quest in. I've got my archaeology treatise. Archaeologist, I was born to be. Oh. Recognition, archaeology, unlock, theology, most importantly, biology, which is a little weird, art, and search. So no appraisal. Appraisal would have made more sense than art than biology for an archaeologist. One would think, but whatever. Appraisal would have made more sense than art, really. Am I currently? I don't know. Whatever. Alright. We are now an archaeologist. So. Um, what now? Well, we're going to continue with unlocking second levels, charting at the same time. Um, not sure what the next one I have to get is. I might end up uh, over in Naples or somewhere in that area. i got to double check, but we'll see. Anywho, we'll uh, be back in a bit. Alright, guys, so we're here in Seville. I decided that I wanted to... Uh, knock out the uh, west coast of Turkey uh, charting, so I decided to find a quest that would take me there. And uh, this is the one I've settled on, Remembrance of an Emperor. A scholar needs assistance with his research on Beatrice, the wife of Holy Roman Emperor Frederick I. Frederick was considered a hero during the Crusades. You should ask the scholar in Marseille about him. Okay. I will do that thing. I will talk to that scholar. Alright, so we're going to head over to Marseille, and we'll see you then. Alright. <coughs> we're here in uh, Frenchy land, and we're going to talk to the scholar. Queen Beatrice was the Countess of Burgundy when she married. Of course, Frederick first married her for political reasons, wanting to expand his power. They had quite an age difference. I think Mr. Rabelais would know more. Alright, well, let's go talk to Mr. Rabelais. Over there. Say the queen became countess when she was very young, and many had plotted to take her place. The marriage between her and Frederick I was obviously political, but the two got along very well. You should talk to the Duchess of Treto. 
Okay. Is she here in town? Sure hope so. I'm traipsing all over the fucking Mediterranean. of Trito is. Interesting. Uh, Genoa. So let's just hell out of here and head to Genoa, which is luckily right next door. You can just stay with me this time. Sailing my clipper at the moment. I've uh, maxed out the ship handling proficiency on the Sha Chan, so I figured I'd sail this for a little while, get its proficiency up, so both are equally um, maxed out. Then I'll probably go back to the Sha Chan. Bye bye, Marseille. Bye bye now. <coughs> Actually, being in a ship bigger than Sydney's. Sha Chan's so small that her uh, big ass sails just block it when I'm sailing this way. Can't even see it at all. With this, however, I can at least see my mast tops and the uh, shit, even if I'm right at level. Not at this level. But, yeah. Relatively level, I can still see my mast tops. Almost there. Out of my way, vigilante corps. Out of my way, fallen mercenary. And your battle barkas. You jerks. Alright, let's see, where is this lady? There we go. We have a company district. Alright, come along, Sid. Let's go see the Duchess. The two were such a great couple, and had eight sons and two daughters. How I envy them! Because pumping out babies is all we women are good for. They spent a lot of time together in their house in Burgundy. Perhaps someone in this town would know more. I sure hope so. You don't seem to know very much. They had a bunch of babies, me. Alright, well I happen to have the this quest open in a uh, on a wiki on another page, so instead of having to go to the bar, I already know where to go. I'm just gonna go there. So screw you. Ancestors used to work for the Count of Burgundy. Yes, they made many offerings. When they married, they gave gifts, and the goods we received in return are family heirlooms to this day. Detailed records are in the town church. Ask the nun there. Okay. Guys 
They're really making me work for it. What's up, sister? Emperor Frederick visited this town many times on his campaigns to Italy, along with his wife. He knows the townspeople well. The records of the shopkeeper's ancestry it should be under the bookstand. It's kind of random, but okay. I heard rumors that the great emperor has passed away. It has been many years since his wife passed away. I remember the days when they used to visit us. I will travel to the place where they say the emperor passed away and pray for him along with this item that reminds us of him. The marriage between Frederick I and Beatrice was political, but they were still a good couple. When they got married, they gave a gift to the shopkeeper in Genoa. According to records, this gift is buried somewhere southeast of the western bank of Turkey, where Frederick died. What the hell is Frederick doing there? It's a strange place to die. All right, well, we will meet you at the West Bank of Turkey, and uh, we will hopefully bang out this chart. BRB. All right, guys, so here we are on the uh, Turkey West Coast. We're here to find this discovery. Let me make sure I start the chart before I do anything. Turkey West Coast. Sid, Church West Coast, yeah, 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 still find a discovery, so I guess it doesn't change. Alright, well, let's go find that discovery then. That's what we came here for. Herself. South it is. Shit. Way down in the corner. Well, as far from the entrance as I could have possibly gotten. Kind of, is it? Yeah. 
Okay. Turn this quest in. So uh, we'll see you then. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, so I kind of ended up doing some stuff uh, since the last time we were here, uh, charting the west coast of Turkey. Long story short, brought me, brought me up to uh, Saint Petersburg, and I figured I'd figured I'd check in on the Adventure Guild here and see what kind of quest they might have to offer. And I found this one called Ancient Drawings, which uh, is sending me to Oslo, and it requires archaeology and recognition, which is generally the sign of a second level um, outskirt type thing. I don't know what that is, because this is not a quest that was in the game, at least as far as I know. Um, and there shouldn't be any more second levels up in the north here. So this must be something new. Um, so we're going to go check it out. Um, like I said, I have no idea what it's all about. I have no idea what I'm going to discover, but um, we're going to give it a shot. So let's go to Oslo. Uh, I will meet you guys in Oslo. Alright guys, we're in the Oslo Tavern. Let's see what this quest is all about. Something the market keeper would know about. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go talk to Mr. Market Keeper then, shall we? Oh, Mr. Market Keeper. Ancient drawings? Where would you find that? Hmm. Perhaps you're referring to that. I'm not sure if that's what you're looking for, but there are rocks with strange markings located in the suburbs of this town. After thinking about it a little more, I suppose it could be seen as drawings. As I was in a hurry, I didn't take much note of it when I saw it. And by the suburbs, I assume you mean the outskirts. Alright, well, let's check it out. It is here, so it's not a second level, which is odd, considering it uh, requires, um, you know, recognition. But uh, I guess while we're here, we will sharp this joint. Best to keep the moving cedar. I'm sure Sydney's doing it too. seems to be completely on the other side of the map. Let's see the actual map. I don't know. Actually, it's a little younger. Well, let's go invest here. one of the necessary actions is to make a discovery or complete a quest. It's a whole lot easier to, you know, get, you know, far enough in that I, you know, once I've done enough of the required actions and that becomes the next required action, then, you know, this way I still have the quest and I want to go anywhere and get a new quest or a new map or whatever. So I want to get the map completion rate to 100%. So 
before we think about doing the quest. Not the whole, not necessarily get the chart done, but get the possible completion of the two lines. Alright. Chart, research. Alright, next thing's making a recognition triangle. So we can do that pretty easily. Let's go ahead and start right here. Actually, like I said, I shouldn't really have you guys watching me chart for now, so <clears throat> it's not very exciting. So what I'll do is I'll continue charting, and then uh, once I'm ready to complete the quest, I'll come back. So, be here. Alright, so we're back. And let me do this right here. And we won't see anything that I could possibly see writing on. But uh, maybe this will finish the chart for us if we're very lucky. Rock carving in tandem. Okay. Well, sure, if you say so. Out of here, we will. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna move on to the next uh, second layer um, discovery quest I can find. So wherever that happens to be, I will uh, pick up there. See you guys soon. All right, gang. So we are here in Seville, hanging out outside the tavern next to uh, the town drunkard, and uh, we've picked up another quest. Uh, this is one of the last uh, three uh, inland regions that we need to unlock. Uh, so we'll have one more, two more after this one, uh, in the European theater, we'll say. Um, I guess the European and Mediterranean area, so North Africa and Europe, basically. Uh, after that, we'll be moving on to uh, bigger and better things elsewhere in the world. Uh, there might be one more to unlock in the rest of Africa. Maybe? I might have actually unlocked them all. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. Um, but we have India. We have Southeast Asia. We have East Asia. Probably going to end up doing uh, the Americas last. Because I feel like, despite the Americas sort of coming before everything else, for the most part, the quests require the most skill there. Um, I could be wrong. There might be... Some of the East Asian ones might require more, but uh, the American ones I know are pretty tough on your skill requirements. Anywho, um, this quest, Remnants of the Punic Wars. Do you know about the Punic Wars? There were a series of wars fought between Rome and Carthage, an ancient city those whose ruins a certain scholar would like to investigate. Go to the Tunis rest area for details, and don't forget to wear Islamic garbs. Okay, I will wear my Islamic garbs. I'm all garbed up. I happen to be wearing a Russian hat, but it actually provides disguise too, so, you know, whatever. Don't judge me. Alright, so we're gonna head out there and uh, switch my ship back to the clipper. I had to. Uh, I was doing some other stuff in between. Um, Mostly changing Sid's job. I wanted to get her the fishing job because it's kind of good for what she's going to be doing, which is basically trailing behind me, fishing, collecting, when we're doing land charting and whatnot. So I wanted to have collection favored, and have fishing favored, and also have storage favored, which I kind of need to rank up on her anyway. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> Anywho, change it to the clipper. 
change my ship parts around. There we go. Alright, we will see you guys in Tunis. Alright, gang. <coughs> We're here at the Tunis uh, uh, Rest House Master. Carthage. Interesting. I'm not sure, but there's a mountain of rubble in the outskirts of this town. Maybe that's it? You should ask the town scholar. He lives at the archives. Go and see him there. Okay. Let's go meet the scholar. Scholar. I know where you live. I am still studying about the history of foreign cultures. I believe that the ruins outside the city are definitely those of Carthage. You might find something of use in the archaeological resources I have gathered. Why not investigate them? Okay. Give me your archaeological resources. Carthage is a city that was founded by the Phoenicians. It bustled as a Mediterranean trade center, nearly rivaling Rome. Rome saw Carthage as a threat, and completely destroyed it after the Three Punic Wars. Its ruins remain in the outskirts of Tunis t today. Carthago de Lende Est. Indeed. That's Latin, darling. Alright. Um, <laughs> there we go. Got the info for Sid. Is there only one gate out of here? No. Let's go over the gate. And they'll probably actually turn off the recording because I'm going to chart both of these regions. If and I can. First region could present a problem if it requires a discovery or whatnot. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Desert is where I spent most of my days. Uh, West Tunis there. Boom. Alright, so hopefully this will work and we will uh, be back uh, when we're ready to discover the ship in the second region. So, BRB. Alrighty, gang. So, here we are. This is the spot. Marvelous. Discover the ruins of Carthage, I suppose. Site of Carthage. It's going to be the closest spot to pick up the next quest, so we'll probably just head there and uh, turn in the quest there. So, see you there. Guys, so here we are in Marseille, and we are taking the Canonical Myths quest. This is the second to last uh, inland region to unlock in the greater European area. You may he You always hear about oracles in Greek mythology. Even Socrates was said to have consulted the Oracle of Delphi. Which brings us to this job. 
finding Delphi. Gather some information in Athens. Alright. I will. I will do that thing. Alright. So, we will uh, see you guys in Athens. Alright, so we're in the Athens bar. We'll see if we can get some shinfo from <coughs> the bartender about this quest. Seems like something Adventurer would know about. <coughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's sort of what we're doing, right? Adventure and wild things and whatnot. Filled up Sydney's vigor. Now let's go find the adventurer. I mean, I'm an adventurer. I ask myself. Hey, me, give me info. <coughs> In ancient Greece, people always tried to divine the intentions of the gods. They also tried to have a lot of butt sex, which is why we invented crowbars. The words that were said by the priestess of gods were made into poems. The famous Delphi was the site of Apollo's temple. Who knows what is there now? There might be someone else in this town who knows something. Wow, oh, gee, thanks. Thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the info. I guess we're going back to the bar. Guess you didn't really tell me who I'm going to see next, did you? No, you didn't. Socrates is said to have been the greatest scholar in ancient Greece, but he wrote no works by his own hand. His words and actions are known through the records of his pupils Plato and Xenophon. If you're investigating myths about Delphi, why not ask the, scholar, the town scholar if you can see his books? Well, I guess I can do that. To the scholar. It is a well-known story that Socrates received a message from the gods of Delphi, but he did not ask for that message himself. Chariphon, his enthusiastic follower, which by which I mean butt buddy, went to the temple at Apollo. This is portrayed in Plato's work, The Apology. I have it in my archaeology library. <clears throat> Alright. My friend from long ago, Chariphon, went to Delphi and asked the gods whether there are any who possess greater wisdom than Socrates. The priestess said no. O oh, people of Athens, when I heard this message, I thought, what did the gods mean to say? This is because I know that I am not wise. I guess they meant that everyone else is really fucking dumb, huh? get up there. Uh, which way am I going? Northwest. Alright. Go to the northwest gate. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. And I'm gonna chart the first area, so we'll uh, be back with you when we get to the second area. Alright guys, so here we are in the inland region. Focus, which is, I guess, Delphi or something. Uh, the 
the destination is further east, so that way apparently. Probably this right here. <coughs> uh, I started up the chart for this place, and it turns out the very first required action is to find a discovery. So, we're going to go do the quest, and then um, that will be the beginning of the chart. And then we'll finish it off camera and meet back in Athens to turn the quest in. Shirts. Aren't you cool? Oh, wait, I don't see this. Never mind. We need cop again. Sure. Where do you say, buddy? <coughs> mm, here we go. There's some ruins. See far now. Ruins at Delphi. Alright, so uh, yeah, we will um, do our chart and we'll meet you back in Athens to turn in or perhaps just in the next, uh, probably in the next place. Which I believe is going to be Istanbul, so I guess we'll see you in Istanbul. Peace out. Well guys, we are back again, and we are in Istanbul, we have turned in the last quest, and we're about to pick up another. This is the one in question, Temple of Ramses II. This will be the last uh, inland region in, uh, in the eastern, or in the <coughs> Mediterranean Europe region. Um, so this is going to be the third one in Egypt. <coughs> You've heard of Ramses II of Egypt, right? He had a long reign, and he built many temples. But they've recently found records of a temple he supposedly built that no one can find. You think maybe you can find it? Go talk to a scholar in Alexandria. Alright. Wearing this uh, spiffy Asian outfit that gives me plus two theology. I had one that gave me plus one theology, but, uh, you know, always better to have two. I'm actually overshooting what I need a little bit, but, you know, the more you have, always better. Uh, Hi, Sophia. Alright. Um, yeah, so we're going to Alexandria. We'll put this stuff back in the bank, and uh, we'll meet you there. Alright, so we're in Alexandria. Oh, God, that Sydney didn't follow me. What the hell, Sydney? Get over here. There we go. Alright, so we're in Alexandria, we're going to talk to the scholar. Ramses II built many temples to show his power. According to recently deciphered documents, he made a temple in a place where the morning sun shines for him and his wife, Nefertiti. Nefertari, whatever. However, there are no clues at all to its location. It would be nice if there were some clues in the religious science books in my library. Religious science? I don't think so. In ancient Europe, religion and politics were one and the same. <clears throat> the pharaohs were said to have been gods that appeared in this world, such as Hormuz. It is for this reason that it was natural for the pharaohs to build lavish temples. Many temples were built in Thebes. Okay. Not on that way. Talk to him again. That much, eh? Thebes is the capital at that time, so there are many temples. 
However, there is no Ramses II temple in a place where the morning sun shines, as depicted in the document. Where would it have been built if it was built in a different land? Is there someone in this town who knows about the geography of the Nile River Basin? Dot, dot, dot. Let's try the port official. Well, people have lived closely with the Nile since ages old. Its water source is shrouded in mystery. Faced with intense heat, disease, and enormous waterfalls, exploration has not made progress. If you're interested in the exploration results until now, you might learn something from a scholar in Venice. Bah! Venice? God damn you to fucking hell. <sighs> well, I guess we're going to Venice. And that means I'm definitely not fucking riding that clipper up that fucking headwind riddled fucking Adriatic Sea, so we'll be switching over to the better and headwind this. Sha sha. All right, well, we will meet you in Venice. Okay, so we've made the grueling trip to Venice, and we are at the Scholar. The focus of research on the Nile has finally shifted from the midstream to the upstream areas. Many downstream areas have been opened up, but this is very limited upstream. If there's an undiscovered temple, it might be somewhere upstream. If it was downstream, it would have already been discovered by now. I feel like you said that three different ways. You said the same bullshit three different ways, but you know, whatever, bro. It was very important to me to have to come to Venice for that. Alright, well, <clears throat> now we're going to go back to the Nile. So we'll see you down there, I guess. Alright, guys, so we're about to get to the end of the Nile here, the upper Nile. First, you're going to chart this region. Upper Euphrates, new. Upper, where would I be if I were Upper Nile? There we go. Recognition. Alright. Let's do the same for Sid. So we'll do this, and we will meet back with you when we get to the second level of the Upper Nile. BRB. <coughs> Alright guys, so welcome to South Aswan. I've already started charting it, and I've gotten all of the necessary actions. I'm hoping that actually completing the quest will get me, um, will get me all the way there. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to go kill some NPCs or some crap like that, but um, usually the quest, completing a quest here gives you, for a chart, gives you a ton of completion, generally speaking. And this is a particularly good quest, so it should do even more. Put on my uh, theology equipment. Didn't want to wear it while I was fighting people, which I was doing in the last map. So I think it's down here. <coughs> Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, look at this jerk. Oh. So I'm gonna have to wear my armor while I'm fighting somebody. I don't know if I mentioned that I got Solomon guns, but I got Solomon guns. And uh, he's also learned a whole bunch of techs. Traff text now. Not the best one. He's got probably the second best one, which is uh, Larry, which does like a paralysis effect. Um, best one though is probably. Uh, so 
like a bee sting or wasp sting, something like that. It poisons people. It's pretty great. Fancy, huh? So seemingly you have to stand over here, not really near the actual discovery to discover it. You know, whatever. Let's see far. Sydney leveled up. Alright. So we discovered the Abu Simbel Temple and we completed the chart. Alright, experience is getting decent now. Ooh, actually, it's really good fame, these charts. Because I get any fame for the discovery itself? No. I'll get fame when I turn the quest in. But uh, a lot of quests give only like 80, 90 fame, so getting over 100 for that was pretty good. Alright, so there is the temple itself. Pretty nifty. I will, uh, yeah, so I guess I'm done here. I'm gonna head back to wherever, Alexandria, I guess, and turn it in, because uh, we're going to be heading out of Europe soon, though I will probably pick up quests that are going outside of Europe in Europe, but uh, yeah, we will be heading out of Europe for our next quest. This is actually probably a good place to end this episode, so let's go ahead and do that, and uh, next episode we're going to start doing a little bit more globetrotting adventure, whereas we've done most of our adventuring in Europe so far, so... We'll be uh, spanning the globe next time. All right. So until next time, this has been Great Pirate Solomon, and I will see you next time. What's up, everybody? Great Pirate Solomon here. Just want to thank everybody for watching the latest episode of The Adventures of Solomon in Uncharted Waters. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click on my pirate head over there on the right. Subscribe for more. If you want to see what else I get up to on the interwebs, go ahead and like my page on Facebook at Misadventures of Solomon. Follow me on Twitter at GP Solomon. And if you really like what I'm doing, why don't you go ahead and throw me a buck or two over at patreon.com backslash Great Pirate Solomon. If you want to see the last episode in this series, go ahead and click on the little video window there on the left. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.